We wanted to make a short about our Mercury video, but we saw that we had a lot of questions about it, and a short wasn't gonna do the job. A lot of you ask to talk about the Red Mercury. You could say Red Mercury is pretty much a scam. This scam was started by the Russian, and they said you could use this element to create nuclear weapons. But when they noticed what they were doing, they noticed that they mixed some stuff and dyes around, and what they got looked like red mercury. When you read the history of red mercury, you'll see that in the 90s, a Russian company started a scam and said they have red mercury for sale, and you could create nuclear weapons with it. This Russian company sold a lot of this with a really high price to terrorist organizations or countries that wanted to create nuclear weapons. Then they realized it was all a scam. Some people ask what about the thermometers with the red liquid in it? We have to say that that's not mercury. Those thermometers work with alcohol and it's an alcohol that has a red dye added to it. These thermometers don't have any mercury in them. What about green mercury that you guys are asking about? This was created in a laboratory and it's considered a nano hybrid. And basically scientists mix a bunch of different elements into each other and with a hint of lime juice in it. And this green liquid is what they got. The reason they created this was that they had a goal and they wanted to create a way to remove mercury from water. But they never reached their goal and they found out what green mercury is. And it's not really mercury. If you mix sulfur with mercury, you'll get this black powder that doesn't look like the mercury you're used to seeing. And this compound is called black mercury sulfide or just black mercury. They use this to dye plastic black or use it as a black pigment. Let's talk about yellow mercury, but I'm just joking. Some people ask, there's mercury in the places bats live and you could actually collect the mercury. But when we researched it, we found nothing about that. But the reason this rumor started is that in the northeast of the US, when they were running tests on different bats in that area, they realized that on their skin and in their blood, there's eight times the amount of mercury compared to other bats. And that started another research program. After extensive research, they realized that the northeastern of the US and some parts of Canada, the bats are like this, and they have more than the normal amount of mercury in their system but they have no idea what the reason behind it is. And the bats live normal lives and they don't have any issues. You can't get any mercury from them and you can't find any mercury where you can find it and sell it. So you don't need to attack bats. You're not gonna find anything. You know what will happen if we make bats go extinct? The insect population would blow up. Bats are one of the main creatures that control the insect population. If they're not here, the insect population will boom and it will pretty much turn into an infestation everywhere. So bats are important. Some people ask, is there mercury in mirrors? It used to be, but not anymore. Back in the day, you would see mirrors that had mercury on them. But after the year 1840, it was illegal to put mercury on mirrors. And instead of mercury, they used silver nitrate. You guys ask, what about makeup material? We have to say that mercury is still in makeup products. And the mercury is used as a preservative. But the rule is that in each container, there should be no more than 65 parts per million in one container. In that case, it's legal. 
The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, or FDA, says they say under 65 parts per million is not dangerous and is one of the best preservatives. Some people ask, what happens to mercury over time? Like other types of metals, do they rust and get rotten away? We have to say that mercury does not rust. But if it's in an open container, after 60 days, it starts to turn into gas. And if you're in that room and you start to breathe it in, it could be very toxic and dangerous to you. But if it's in a closed container, it won't turn into gas and it will stay in liquid form. In our previous clip, we said that mercury destroys aluminum. But there's other types of metals that get destroyed with mercury, and one of those is gold. Another thing that had mercury is mercurochrome, which was used to heal cuts, and it was kind of used like hydrogen peroxide. But in reality, it was very dangerous to use, especially on cuts. But luckily, it's not here anymore. Some people ask, why is mercury afraid of garlic? We have to say garlic, like a lot of different vegetables, has a lot of antioxidant. And this allows it to be the enemy of heavy metals. Metals like lead, mercury, and copper. People that are afraid there might be lead, copper, or mercury in their food, they should consider eating a lot of garlic because it's one of the best foods. Some people say that in old TVs, the lamp had mercury inside it. Yes, there is some mercury in the lamp, but taking out the mercury is not worth the risk because a lot of those lamps have mercury gas in them as well. And if it breaks and you don't have the proper mask, you could breathe it in and it could be very dangerous. Some people say mercury is very expensive, especially red mercury. Yes, the red was very expensive because it was all a scam. But mercury costs around $1,200 per kilogram. In the end, we should say some people commented that mercury helps with hair loss, but research shows the exact opposite. It's gonna destroy the rest of your hair if you use it because mercury is very toxic and the cells do not want this toxic material anywhere near them. I hope we answered all of your guys' questions.